I'm making his dog Like I'm in the big leagues Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all I think that I'm back in my bag now So I need that go, y'all Got hits when he throwing the My name is Peter Sorellis I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada I specialize in sports videography And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you Three super simple Adobe Premiere Pro transitions That you can make natively With the tools that you already have in Premiere I use these all the time throughout my work I've been using them for years I think they're really effective and they're super easy transitions to execute so you can do them no matter what skill level you're at. So we're going to start with a camera shake transition. So we're gonna grab this adjustment layer here. And if you don't have an adjustment layer, you can click on this little paper icon, which is a new item. Click adjustment layer, click okay. You get an adjustment layer. So let's just call this one effects. We'll drag this onto our timeline. And for our camera shake, we want this adjustment layer to be six frames long. So we'll hold shift and the left arrow, go back five frames. And then we'll hold shift right arrow again and the right arrow one more time. Now we have another frame here, place a cut. And now we have a six frame adjustment layer. We're gonna hold command and the right arrow one, two times so that we now have three frames on each side of this cut for our layers here. And we're going to grab this transform effect that we have here in the effects panel. So if you don't have that, just go transform. Drag that onto your adjustment layer. And now the effects that happen on this adjustment layer that we've called effect are going to impact the layers below it. So we're going to create a camera shake by turning the shutter angle up. And the higher the shutter angle is, the more blur you will have with the movement of your frame. So I recommend bringing this pretty high, maybe not all the way to 360, which is the max it can go, but somewhere in like the 200 to 250 range is pretty good in my opinion. And now we're just going to add keyframes and slowly add a little bit of shake to this image by gradually increasing or decreasing in relatively small intervals, the scale and the position of this frame. And you'll see that when we, when we finish with this, it's going to create this like shaking earthquake type of effect that I use pretty frequently. And it's a really good way to kind of blend two clips together that otherwise don't have a good way of transitioning. So now we've added our keyframe throughout this and you can see that when I play this back, we have a little bit of a shake into our next clip. Now our second transition here is probably the easiest out of the three. It is a quick little flash transition. So I usually do these by using the additive dissolve effect. So we'll search additive and right here we get additive dissolve. You drag your additive dissolve effect in between your two clips. And then you just wanna shorten the length to be anywhere between two to six frames, depending on what you like. And this is basically the whole effect. You play this back and you can see we have our clip playing, the guy scores the layup, and then you get a flash and you're onto the next clip. If you want to change this up, you can make this a little bit longer and get a longer flash like that, which I think looks better in this case. Or you can even place another cut in your clip either before or after the actual transition between the two different clips. Put another additive dissolve effect on there. Double click it, shorten the length to be anywhere between two and six frames. I'll click, I'll click three frames for this instance. Drag your additive dissolve over the new cut that you've made. And now you're gonna get a double flash when you transition. And this can be another way to use this effect, but make it look a little bit different if you're gonna be using it multiple times throughout your video. Hey, real quick, before we get into our final transition here, I just wanna let you know that I created an overlay pack with 25 plus free animated overlays. Yeah, like free $0, you can just have them. There's film overlays, grain overlays, noise, dust, comic effects, like whatever you can think of to get started with adding cool overlays to your videos. I made it for you and I'm giving it to you for free for you to use however you want. The link's in the description. Think of it as like my thank you to you for sticking around this channel, supporting the videos that I'm making and kind of like helping build this small community of sports video creators. I'm really grateful for the way this community is growing and I love seeing all the supportive comments and the reactions that you guys have to these videos. So I thought I'd make something and this is it, it's all yours. Go get it, link in the description right after this video. And yeah, back to the final transition. Now we're on to our third transition, which is an RGB glitch transition. This is gonna be kind of similar to the camera shake, but we're gonna take it up a level, if you will. First, let's start by taking five frames off of each clip by holding shift and the right or left arrow and then command K to place your cuts. Then you're going to highlight the clip, hold option and drag up to create three copies on each side, like so. We're going to change these all to linear dodge add. It would have actually been smarter to change the blending mode of these clips to linear dodge add before you drag them. But I was talking this through and not thinking, so I didn't do that. So we're changing everything to linear dodge add right now. And then we're going to pull up the color balance effect. So let's go color balance and you're gonna grab color balance RGB, highlight all the clips, 
drag it on, and now all these clips have the color balance RGB effect applied. And what we want is for these to get zeroed out in two values and then be 100 in the third value for each one of these clips. So the bottom clip here is gonna be zero red, zero green, all blue. So only the blue channel is present in this clip. Now here, we'll zero out the blue, we'll zero out the red, and we have 100 on green. Here we will zero out the blue and zero out the green, we have 100 on red. And you can see that now we have the red, the green, and the blue channels of this video, and it gives us a normal image, but separated into three layers. So now we can adjust the red, green, and blue channels to create the glitch effect that we want. Actually, I'm gonna turn off my LUT here, just so you can actually properly see the red, the green, and the blue without the colors being distorted. If you want these LUTs, by the way, and you like the way that this picture looks, I do have a sports video LUT pack on my website. The link's in the description. You can go check it out. Anyways, I'll turn off the LUT pack here so you can properly see that we have all these layers separated. And we're going to take these effects and apply the same thing to the other side. So let's zero these out real quick. We'll do the same thing for this one. And for the top layer. Good. Now, this is where we get similar to the camera shake transition. We're gonna grab the transform effect like we did in our first transform, or I can spell, our transform effect, just like we did the very first time with our camera shake transition. We'll highlight all the clips, drag it on, and now we're going to start making two out of the three layers. In this case, I'm gonna do the bottom layer and the middle layer bigger over time as this transition goes along. So let's add keyframes at the very start for the scale and the position. Then we're going to go to the second last frame. We're going to make the scale a little bit bigger of this bottom layer. And we're going to change the position a little bit. Then we'll just drag that to the end. We will do a similar thing for the middle layer here, but we're going to make it slightly different because we don't want these two, these two layers here to have the exact same movement. So in this one, we're going to scale it up instead of dragging it to the right. We're going to drag it to the left and we'll bring it down a little bit as well. We'll highlight those keyframes, bring them to the very end of the clip. Now, grab these transform effects and copy them across just like this. And you can see that this transform effect here is now the same as the was over there. We shouldn't have, we have a second transform effect here because we kind of just dragged the transform onto all of the clips, which wasn't really necessary. So we'll delete the transform effect that we're not using. I'll actually delete the transform effect off of this bottom layer as well. I probably shouldn't have just dragged it onto all the clips. I could have put it on one at a time. It would have been a little more efficient. We copy the transform effect from the second layer here over to the second layer over here. And we're just gonna switch these keyframes around so that rather than the position going from 100 scale and our regular position to being bigger, we have it go from being a large RGB effect to going back down to normal. And we're going to do the same thing at the bottom layer. So grab your transform effect, command C, go to the bottom layer, command V, highlight, and we're going to switch these two keyframes so that we have a large RGB effect at the start. And at the end, we have no RGB effect. When you play this through, you can see that you have the clip going through and then you have your RGB transition. And there's a little bit of a distraction in here where these RGB effects kind of shake and help you get through to the next clip. Now, the one thing you might want to fix in this is when you move these clips around, you end up having some like parts where you can see the edges of the clip. You're moving this clip and if you've moved it too far to the left or too far to the right, kind of like this type of thing, you can begin to see the edge of the video and I don't think that's a very good look. So if you're in a situation right now where you can see the edge of your video in your RGB clip, then you just wanna select the three layers that you've got here for your RGB effect, nest them and do the same thing for the other side. And then you just wanna scale them up a little bit, maybe scale them up to 105 if you have to. And we'll do the same thing for the other side by copying and pasting those motion properties. And this should scale your clip up enough to eliminate any edges that you may or may not be seeing right now in your video. I'll turn back on our LUTs from the Sport Video LUT Pack because I just think that looks a lot better. And then because we've scaled our, nest, our nested clips up to 105, we're going to scale the rest of the video up over time to also be 105 so that you don't have a weird jump in scale in one frame like that. We don't want that. So we'll toggle animation for scale somewhere in the middle of the clip at 100, and then we'll make it 105 and drag that to the end. Here, the clip is gonna be 105 and then jump down to 100. So we wanna add a scale property at 105, toggle that animation, and then go somewhere into the middle of the clip, bring it back down to 100 gradually over time. And the end RGB transition looks like this. 
All right, this has been three simple Adobe Premiere Pro transitions that you can make for use in your sports videos, montage videos, event recaps, music videos, anything of that nature. No plugins required, super simple. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis, and I would love to have you around for those. And if you have any other comments or questions regarding this video or anything you didn't get because I went over stuff too quickly, drop it in the comments. I will try my best to get back to everybody down there and answer any questions you might have. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. So until next time, peace.